Sugar Cookie was one of our original fragrances from when we started the company. We actually only could get a hold of one fragrance company at that time because everybody else was shut down from COVID. So you just had to get what you get kind of at that point. And so we picked a sugar cookie. It was good, but it was kind of more, it definitely had more cinnamon, more like a brown sugar cookie, but we called it sugar cookie. Um, we've gotten a lot of feedback over the last couple of years that um, customers really wanted the old company sugar cookie, which we called pink sugar cookie when we put it out in the um, breast cancer candle, uh, that they really wanted that instead of our sugar cookie. So we had to, you know, kind of get through our fragrance of our sugar cookie, but we do listen to you guys, um, you know, when you ask us for fragrances or when we're getting a lot of feedback that, um, you know, customers are really wanting this. So that's why we decided to switch to sweet sugar cookie. So is everybody happy with that switch? Yes. Okay. So our goal, just know that our goal, whenever we're coming out with different core, the um, seasonal fragrances and sunlight, the specialty jars, my goal is to try to help you guys sell as many candles as possible. And if sh as switching to sweet sugar cookie is going to make that happen, then that's my goal. That's what I want to do. It's not because I want something my way or it's my favorite because there's a lot that are not my favorite. Um, but it's because I want you guys to be able to give you the tools to be the most successful that you can in your business. So that's why Fruit Basket, while extremely popular in the fall, when I look back at numbers, spring through summer, so we're talking like January through July, we sold 50 medium. 50. That's it. We could fill, we put 96 on a shelf at a time when we pour. So we had all of those fruit basket just sitting there. So if we have them sitting there, I know you have them sitting there. And that, I did, that just can't happen. Now fruit basket is a popular fragrance for fall. So you might see it back in fall. You probably will um, because it's, it sells really well. But I'd rather put something else in the core that's going to help you sell year round um, as opposed to something that's just going to sit there for months at a time until it comes back. So I replaced Love Spell with that one. One, because it's, you know, right out of the gate this time of year, it starts to sell really, really well. But it's also a fragrance that um, isn't specific to, you know, it's not just floral, it's not just fruit, it's not, it's really got a lot of components in it. And it outsold, well, it outsold Fruit Basket easily spring and summer, and it was only available in spring. So that's why I brought that back. Plumeria um, is the other one that came out and that is a floral. So I wanted to really replace a floral with a floral, especially in the core. And when we look back at Plumeria, it's been around for a little while. We've had it for a while. It's a good scent, but it just doesn't sell as quickly um, as I think others will. And I definitely don't think that it can sell as quickly as orange blossoms. Do, do you guys agree with me? Okay. So then I decided to put orange blossoms and we do have a lot of merchandisers and distributors that are in Arizona and California, which those are the people that know what that they want orange blossoms. Um, back East, we don't really, I didn't even know what orange blossoms, we don't have orange trees in, in New Jersey. I don't know what that smells like. Um, so until I moved to Arizona and I was driving down Mesa, I was like, Ooh, what does that smell? And it's orange blossoms. Um, so we had to put orange blossoms in there um, because I just felt that it would help you guys sell more. And that's, you know, that's my goal. So um, that's the core 2023. Spring, we um, have a lot of returning that, again, I, I go through the numbers and I look. And if it, something doesn't sell well, then it's, it's either got to go or maybe we re reuse it in a different specialty at a certain time. Apple Blossoms was one of the best sellers last spring, so it had to come back. I love the pink color. Um, I think everybody loves that it's got a little mix of, um, you know, the you get floral, but you also get the apple and the raw sugar cane. For people, customers that don't particularly love just floral in your face, especially me, I like apple blossoms because it's just kind of um, a nice scent all around. Fizzy Pop, we decided to put into... Um, the spring line because we did it in a specialty and it was hugely popular and and so popular actually that um our distributors actually can do custom pours if we have fragrance still available or if they order the whole you know the whole uh pail of fragrance and one of our distributors actually did a, a custom pour of fizzy pop and i think it sold out really fast so i was like oh 
you know, it did. Yep. So um, that was a great one that I was like, okay, that, that should definitely go into spring. And it's tart notes of lemon, lime, citrus, eucalyptus, and soda bubbles. And I had never used this previously. I'd never, um, you know, had this candle. But this one is really, it's really good. It's just light. It's like a good all the time in your kitchen, in your house. Your whole, your whole house can smell like this fragrance. Gardenia is back because it's a big seller um, for our floral lovers. It's gardenia, jasmine, and ylang never one of my favorites but you know a lot of people love floral and it sells really well we did bring back grape previous he was grape gumdrop in the specialty that was the candle uh, the candy and soda line and this is plums wild grapes sweet berries uh, previously named with the other company was grappleberry i never liked that name a lot of the different names i try to change if it was the customers either like messed it up all the time or they just couldn't figure out the, what they were calling it. That one was called like Grapeleberry, Grappleberry, blah, blah, they didn't ever know. So I'm like, let's just call it what it is. It smells like grape. Um, so that one is in our spring line. And then grass, we had previously um, another season and then we discontinued that for a little while because um, it didn't sell as well as the other ones that were in that particular season. But again, we keep getting requests for grass. So, you know, so I, I'm like, okay, well, the last time we did grass, it was in the old jars. Maybe in the new jars, because it is such a great green, um, it'll, it'll sell better. We're a bigger company. We have more sellers. Um, so we'll, we'll give that a try and we'll, we'll give it a try again. So that's why I brought grass back. Honeysuckle is a huge, um, huge seller. Its formal name was Living Room which I never quite understood that. So that's why I renamed that one. Um, so it's honeysuckle, violet, musk, and sandalwood, because I was like, whose living room ever smells like this? This is not living room. <laughs> not my living room. Um, so I renamed that one to, to sound a little more what it is. Um, lilac is back. We did have lilac formerly in the old jars. Um, and this is a big, like Midwesterners and the Washington State all they think of is lilac especially we're getting into their season um, and I love that color purple this season is my favorite for color that we've done so far we have a lot of really great colors and then each season I try to pick one new one now I know everybody kind of gets like just set on you know their their favorite and what they want but you'll never find any new favorites if we don't introduce a few every now and then so I try to introduce new fragrances into the specialty at first to see if people like it. Um, or sometimes I just love it so much myself that I'm, I'm like, you know, and I'm looking for that particular um, type. So maybe I'm looking for a fruit, I'm looking for a fresh, and it just really wows me. And we get, I can't tell you how many fragrance um, samples that sit around in my office, hundreds. And I sit there and I smell them and I put them in the yeah that's possible no i can't stand it you know this smells too much like I, there's a bunch that this smells too like much like the ones we already have you know that kind of thing and nectarine and pink pepper was different um it is for the people that like peach and clementine it is amazing like citrus but it's not really the orange and lemons it re you get a lot of the peach and clementine and it is a really really good new fruit um flavor and then peony uh, was a specialty in the Mother's Day, but it was just plain white. Um, actually, no, it was in Valentine's, so it was plain white. Um, and I thought that if we gave it a color and we colored it a little bit more like what peony is, um, it was a, you know, a pretty good seller in the specialty. So let's see what it can do in our sunlight jars. So that's pineapple, pear, and vanilla um, are actually, which is weird because it's a floral, but you get a lot of those other um, components in that peony. Rain shower is one of our, our fresh scents that sells really well. Love the color. Um, it's lily, ozone, and musk, so I had to bring that one back. Raw silk was a Mother's Day specialty, um, and it was in our stone jar. So sometimes I just think that um, when they're in the regular sunlight jars, people are a little more apt to, to purchase them. Um, raw silk, a lot of you guys took that yesterday at the factory tour, and I think some people have never even really smelled it or burned it. So raw silk is tranquil amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. So it is for, you know, but it is a lighter scent until it gets going. Um, if you just, it's the cold, the cold throw is not near what the hot throw is on, on raw silk, so I think you really do need to burn it. Um, red rose, oh boy, I, so many requests for rose. Can we bring rose? I need a rose. I need a rose. I need a rose. 
So I'm like, okay, well, if we're doing rose, we're doing red rose because I want something that smells like, you know, the rose on the stem, and this is what this one does. Again, I'm not a huge floral person, but this is a nice, it's a really nice fragrance. Warm red rose is with geranium and sweet iris, and we made it like an amazing red color. Um, perfect for Valentine's Day. That's obviously why it's out in springtime. And then strawberry vanilla or strawberry lemonade is back, and that's back in the um, fundraiser as well. It is a, it was a good seller in the fundraiser. So we brought that back. Um, orange fizz, strawberry leaf, mimosa, and oakwood. And then sunflower has always been a huge seller um, in springtime, so we brought that one back. I, you know, if you guys know me, I have allergies and I can't even, I, I, I want to burn sunflower and like orange blossoms in my house, but I start to and then my throat itches and my nose runs and I'm like, nope, can't do it. I have allergies. But for those that love it, they love it, they love it. And there are some sunflower like devotees out there. And then last but not least, you got to have a masculine scent in there as well. Um, so Tuxedo is back. It is one of my favorite uh, masculine scents. And I do like that when you put like the black and the red together, you could really come up with a really cool combo for Valentine's Day because you got that stark black and the, and the red red. And that to me just, just, just says Valentine's Day. And that's our season that we're in right now.